Hey everyone, so I was trying to shoot one of my videos in what I thought was some pretty light wind and it turned out awful, okay? It was really bad. I was telling this to a friend of mine and he's like, well, why don't you get one of those foam thingies that they put on the microphones? Uh, I think they make them for GoPros. Really? They do? Didn't even occur to me. I was thinking about buying wireless microphones, you know, with the fuzzy things or the foam things on them, the lapel mics, which I probably should do anyway but they're kind of expensive. And in general, the GoPro does, a, I don't know, what I think is a decent job. So I, I, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Well, I got these things and tried them out. And so far they're fantastic, okay? So I'm gonna do some testing here today. So I'll do a super quick unboxing and an install, which, you know, takes like 10 seconds. I'll talk about if it interferes with anything on the GoPro, the screens, the controls, and talk a little bit about the microphones. I'll tell you some of the good, some of the bad. Finally, I do a wind test, comparing back and forth with the windscreen on and off, with the GoPro hanging out of the window at different speeds, 10, 15, 20 miles an hour, while I'm talking. And initially I planned to organize this video a little bit differently, so excuse the kind of random babbling that I do in the video, okay? <laughs> I needed to be talking while the video was recording and the GoPro was in the wind, okay? So uh, you get what you get. But anyway, it's good. It works out, it's pretty good testing. So uh, check that out. Oh, and see below, I put links on where to get everything on Amazon. All right, let's see what we got today. These are covers, foam covers. Two foam covers. Four GoPro. I think 9, 10, and 11. Doesn't say here, but pretty sure it's for 9, 10, and 11. Yeah, it should work this way, but what is the best way to put this on? Well, I should take this off first. Maybe leave these down. Okay, so we've got the microphones covered. Still see the screen, although it might be a little bit, a little bit covered. Let me see. Buttons. Turn it on. Okay, now let's turn it on. And that is one of the downsides, you know, if you need to replace it, if you need to put another battery in, if you need to put uh, your card, a new SD card or anything like that in there, you obviously have to take this off. So, you know, that's a downside, but what are you going to do? All right, so, I mean, it's pretty much, no, you, you can really see the whole screen. It's just a little bit, you know, like a tunnel in there. And you could also see this whole full front screen, too. So that's pretty slick have access to the record button, on off button. So that's cool. So really all we gotta do now is test it out. All right, let's see if we can get the mount on. I mean, obviously there's still access here. It's a little thick, but I think we're good. You know, just have to kind of squish this stuff down really. And yeah, you know, gets in the way. So yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit more in the way but it's all mushy so you can get it in there you can still tighten it up and everything it's just uh, you got to squish it out of the way no big deal okay so let me tell you about what i've learned about the microphones on the gopro which i've just learned the basics this is definitely a microphone okay so you cover this guy up when you're recording or a lot of wind gets in here you're definitely going to hear the effects on your recording now some of these others are a little bit debatable. I think they use other microphones in here just kind of for maybe to just gather some other environmental types of surrounding sound. I'm not positive, but uh, I've seen videos of, of, of people recording things, plugging up this as being a potential microphone and it did nothing. They were trying to cover up these, which I understand to be really just vents in case there's water or anything gets inside and there really wasn't any effect. And then also on the bottom here, which I understand to be speakers, definitely, um, or possibly speakers, they covered them up and there was really no effect either on the sound. So 
but it was just basic sound. They were just they were just basically doing what I'm doing now and standing in one location and talking and covering up just these various holes. Uh, again, this was <laughs> definitely a, a microphone and these others had like zero effect. Now, does that mean if you're recording out in the wild, uh, will it change the recording if you're, you know, start plugging up holes? It, it might, it might. Again, they might be doing some uh, sound processing internal to the, to the GoPro. However, it, it doesn't really matter. I was going to read into this further, but it doesn't matter. Why? Because this covers up everything. This helps cover up, uh, you know, everything except the screen and the, and the buttons. So this is protected from wind. This is protected. These are protected. This is protected. Everything is protected from wind. So whether or not this is just the microphone or the others are or aren't, um, it doesn't matter because this covers it up and uh, the tests will hopefully show that. So again, let's get on with the tests. We're going to do 10, we're going to do 15, and we're going to do 20 miles an hour. Oh, I guess maybe I should... Uh, um, I've got the windscreen on. The I'm not sure what order I'm going to put it on the video, but I'm planning... Let's see how it is. Um, I don't know, I guess the camera's about and then put the windscreen on. However, I was shooting some other video, so I had the windscreen a lot, just so you know. And this is about as far as I guess I would have it. I think I talked for a little bit. I am in a parking lot that is very... I don't know, can you still hear me? Because 10 miles an hour, some rocks, pebbles back here. I'm in the back end of the parking lot. Slow down now to five miles an hour. All right, this is five miles an hour. About as far as the side, uh, the, the center of my side view mirror. So it's definitely in cause too much interference, but let's see. Let's get back up to about 10. Doing between nine and maybe 12 miles an hour. And maybe that siren is good, some background. If I can hear that, I don't think that's gonna affect it too much. Most of the time, the wind just over. Okay, this is 15 miles an hour. Only 15 miles an hour. And this is about, I don't know, maybe, you know, I was about to say, hopefully you can still hear me, but uh, <laughs> I'm still um, holding it about the same. Oops, I slowed down a little bit. All right, now we're back up to 50. Uh, same empty parking lot. And. No siren this time. I just, you know, ran out of time, and honestly, I just forgot. And it was a pretty. Uh, again, obviously, I'm in my car driving, empty parking lot, and I didn't have my uh, windscreen thing. And I completely wasted my time because uh, the video turned out like crap. It's about 15. Okay. Now let's try it. Maybe we'll go a little bit faster this time. Okay, this is probably going to be the last test. Uh, 20 miles an hour. Now, 20 miles an hour. 19, 20, 20 miles an hour. That, okay, can you still even hear me? It seems like you wouldn't even be able to hear me. Definitely a lot more wind than I had when I was trying to do a, uh, shoot some video the other day. Yeah. 